you must have confidence and you must believe in your choices. And you often can make mistakes about dress, but you have learned from experience and you must absolutely have confidence. You must find the inner core and strength because after all, it is fashion. It does get you up and down the stairs, as Truman Capote once said. It does enhance your life, but it's, it's things are more important than fashion. But I love fashion. I think that today, style is everywhere, and style is indeed everything. The style was Eunice Johnson. She was a visionary. She created the fashion fair. It went over five decades, over 50 years, and she loved it. She was passionate about fashion fair. She walked through the universe looking for style to put on the runway. The Ebony Fashion Fair represents a moment in time when Mrs. Johnson, through her fashion shows, introduced people to the world of style that perhaps they weren't exposed to. They were exposed to them in pictures and magazines, but it was the first reality show for black people in terms of high style. And Mrs. Johnson was one of the first to introduce African Americans to the world of haute couture. People went to the fashion fair and they became known, and that was like a training ground for people of color who wanted to be in the big league. We've made great strides in terms of fashion now. I think that she was the first to start it, and she was recognized for it during her lifetime as well as now. And I think this is a great exhibit to have in Raleigh. I really think it's wonderful. There's no such thing as trends. It's a device of marketing advice for magazines. You don't speak trends, I speak fashion and style. I don't speak trends. I'm not gonna even say what is a trend. I don't know what a trend is. Gold shoes, black belts, shoulder pads, no. What's coming, I don't know. What's coming is that there's so many offerings now in fashion that everybody in this room is well-dressed. You do not need a expansive budget to establish individual style, no. You can be a sharecropper, you can be working down in Chatham County somewhere and have great style, you know? You can just go to your, your aunt's closet with her favorite hats or her favorite jacket or her favorite handbag. You must establish individual style. You must maintain a sense of confidence that comes over years and years and decades and decades of trial and error. And if whatever inspires you, you can find style on the streets. Young people have great style these days. I always say to young students, if you get your foot in the door, don't be offended if the people in the studio ask, could you go to Starbucks? Because while you're running out to Starbucks, when you come back, something will have happened and you can observe that and that will stay with you in your career. When I went with Deanna Vreeland, I did not open my mouth. I listened and I observed. And that's how I learned the craft. Knowledge is power. I only spoke when I had something to say. And I was confident. I had confidence at a very early age, although I was wildly insecure. You can be very insecure and still have great confidence. So I knew what I wore I thought was fabulous. And when I spoke to people, I spoke with knowledge. And one of my first great friends was Carl Lagerfeld. I met him in May of 1975. My first big interview with Andy Warhol was with Carl Lagerfeld. And we became instant friends. I spoke of knowledge. I read, I researched history, education, 18th century history, the art of dress, the art of table manners, the art of etiquette. I knew everything that Carl was interested in before I even opened my mouth to ask him a question. So he was impressed and therefore, I think people had me around not for my looks because of my knowledge. 2017, everything goes. You can wear whatever you want. Do not judge. People have style. Style remains forever. There are always occasions to dress.